Australian football has a lot going for it. It's a game of never-ending highlights, marking, kicking, winning and losing. But it's got a lot more as well. And here during our telecast of the Brownlow Medal in years past, we've included on a regular basis a humorous segment. And while the method of counting has changed, we decided not to depart from that winning format at least. And this year we've decided to call our humorous segment, if you'll uh, permit the pun, it's Hooked on Footy. Let's take a look at it right now. What there was it? it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good time for a humorous segment, I would have thought. Yeah, what, no, what, we, what, we haven't had one yet. <laughs> hey, Pete, I've seen, you know what that hooked on segment was? I've seen that. It was like, you know, the spills and the, yeah. of all the year. You know, it's basically just blokes getting concussed. That's what it was. Well, we had a, an earlier one than that. It was called Violent Saturday. Which is oh, very <laughs> That's <laughs> terrific. Like, oh, With all the biffs and bumps that you don't see in the game. Violent Saturday. Oh, right. yeah, you see. wouldn't have that on VHS, would you, mate? <laughs> <laughs> you can watch it, you can watch it in your dungeon, Mick. <laughs> yeah. Society's changed. Hey, that was the Brownlow medal, of course. And you I, were I, synonymous I, with the Brownlow medal. You were, and you, you did have a... You had a partiality for the Hawthorne Footy Club, let's be honest. I mean, you're a bit uh, fond of the Hawks, Yeah, I was fond of the Hawks. As a kid, I started barracking for Essendon. And uh, what happened? <laughs> Don't worry, Pete. It's right. He yeah, was thrown out last week. They're all right. Now I started barracking for Essendon as a kid because Dad was an Essendon supporter, and yeah. we used to go out to Windy Hill because John Coleman was in his yeah. heyday. And then Dad didn't have a car anymore all of a sudden, and so we had to go down to Glenferry Oval. Oh, no. Otherwise, it's too hard to get from Burwood we lived. Oh. No. So, so no. you saw Coleman's first game, which must have been unbelievable, but you would have been, when Dipper, one of your faves, of course, one of the favourite sons of Hawthorne, won the 86 Brownlow, you must have been pretty chuffed when the big fella saluted. Nobody was more surprised than Dipper, and <laughs> I was on the same shelf. Right, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Before the, the count, I was standing stage left, waiting for the queue, and one of the umpires walked past. I won't mention his name. Oh, jeez. I said, uh, hey. You wouldn't uh, happen to know who wins because uh, I can get on here. <laughs> he said, it's one of your guys, number nine. What? I said, you'd have to be joking. <laughs> number nine's Dipper. He said, number nine. <laughs> and what happens? He goes he on got, and wins. He gave you the I could have made up poses. Yeah, he could have made an absolute <laughs> fortune. <laughs> During that I'm going to have to ask you to stay away from Mix Multi. <laughs> <laughs> Just off the bat, I'm saying it's completely yeah. independent. Is what that happened? right? So this would, this could it be. It gave you the leak. A, the a leak. leak. Oh, not the... as bad as the '78 Brown though, when Blighty. That was the worst kept secret in history, wasn't it? When Blighty won the Brown though. Well, oh, I know nothing about this player. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got on that one. <laughs> Even if you got the information on the night, I don't know what you could have done anyway. Oh, no, what are you? There was, yeah. there was, there was a boogie there, don't worry. <laughs> You're not helping me help you. <laughs> now, listen, you're such a great part of the game for so long. Uh, Favourite players, come on. Who, who yeah, came who and went? Well, in I, your I time thought, I thought you... this had come up. Yes, I'm, I'm keen so, so to I made a, I made a list on the plane coming down. Lee Matthews. Yep, right. yep, tick. Gary Ablett Sr. It's a long yep. list you got there, Pete. 20 no, players. Good. Oh, no. About over 30 years. Yep. Simon Madden, Jason Dunstall, yep. Peter Hudson, Wayne Carey, yep. KB, Dakes, Bernie Quinlan, oh, Superboot, yeah. Andy McLeod, Plugger, uh, Alex Jesselenko, Robbie Flower. Beautiful. Yeah. I'm, I'm, who's reading this? <laughs> Skipped, he skipped over Flair. I thought he couldn't understand his own handwriting. It's not a test. It's not like you have to cheat by looking at Peter's answers. That's Braille, you idiot. <laughs> keep going, Peter. Oh, can I keep going? Yeah, keep going. Yes. Are we running out of time? No, please? no, no. No, 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 no. We, we stopped filming Gary this Dempsey, about five minutes. <laughs> and only a couple more. Craig Bradley, <laughs> Gary Wilson, <laughs> Greg Williams, Tucky, we've got to mention oh, Tucky, Tucky, Peter Moore, Michael Voss, Wadey, Chris Mainwaring, and Sticks. That's a oh, great list. Oh, yeah. What an all star team that would be. What an amazing, what an amazing.
an amazing effort from you. We're all having here a good time, and you're just upsetting Peter Lanny. <laughs> That's a fair effort. Oh, you're trying to hey, cheat with his list. list I know. And his terrible thing to do. Right. Yeah. Um, That's my last bit of paper. It's got a phone number on there. Hey, we, uh, we, we, know, we did uh, note during the break that you actually you, you look the same. Yes, the hair's a little bit grey, but you actually are, you know, oh, uniquely uh, yeah. uh, Peter Landy. And over the years, <laughs> by the way, over the years. Did you know what I was like? To me, it was like Australia's Ricardo Montalban. <laughs> you were always dapper. You always turned yourself out. Look at that. Look at you. Look, look at you at here. Look that. at some of these, uh, you know, these shots from the uh, from your time in television, Pete. And the hair yeah, is more of it. It's pretty consistent. That's how, how, I, would describe how would you describe it. How would you describe it? I'd describe it as consistent. And I've, I've always, I've got to ask you. I've, I've never, um, I never thought I'd have the opportunity to. I'm going to do it. You're not going there. I once. What are you, doing? Once, I what are you watch, doing? I used to watch World of Sport. Oh no. And I remember Great one show. time during our coverage, they kind of went to a wide shot where you could see everyone off camera and Dude. I remember seeing you off camera with curly hair did you oh, have yours. A, no not <laughs> no like did you did you have curly hair did you have a perm when you were younger and, oh, you, used to, and you used to straighten it for the television I did have curly hair one of our sponsors was Terence Marini hairdressing and he used to get the straightener out there you go and it just stayed straight why didn't you why didn't you just go on telly with curly hair well I'll tell you what happened <laughs> Hey, hey, yeah, you, you, you didn't anticipate this line of questioning, did you? No, no, there's, there's no, 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 no answers no, no for this. <laughs> no for this I was on holidays once, right? You, I did have holidays once in 30 years. Yeah. <laughs> and I'd grown the afro, and my then wife. <laughs> <laughs> She wanted me to grow a moustache <laughs> on holidays. Yeah. I uh, hate facial hair. Sorry, Mick. No, it's all right. That's all right. Only no. I did, didn't suit. So anyway, so yep. I got the curly hair, the afro, and a moustache. And I walked back in, and the news director, John Ma, just about fainted. <laughs> he said, you're not going to go on air like that, are you? I said, well, I hope I am. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I went on air like that, and it's always a bad sign. You go back to your desk yep. after the bulletin, and the phone's ringing. And it wasn't just one phone, it was three. <laughs> so I picked up the first one. So Philip Jones here, Peter, chairman of the Herald and Weekly Times, yes. who owned Channel 7 at the That's time. That's not good. N not good. Either you go or the Mo goes. Make up your mind. <laughs> I can't believe it. We have, a segment, we have a segment on this show which we love uh, sharing with our guests. It's called Fresh from the Archives. Ah, uh, yes, please. But I just wanted to say I've never been I've never felt more validated. I thought I was like losing my mind for 20 years But that the idea that you would have you would have come out and presented the footy with a with the perm hair and a moustache That would have been unbelievable. Pete. Big mistake from you by the way <laughs> <laughs> We'll try and find that bit of footage. Yeah, yeah that'd be good. You've got that that be good. You didn't argue with Sir Philip Jones. No, I'm sure no. You I don't think he wouldn't have liked me by the way I don't think so. <laughs> You got curly hair now you wouldn't have. All right, All right. All right. No. Now, <laughs> Attention, please. Sorry. Uh, this Sorry. is from the archives, <laughs> and obviously I've even forgotten what it. Are you all right? No, no, you know World of Sport. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah. What well, we're talking about, loose TV. <laughs> yeah. So you mentioned World of Sports. Yeah. I, 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 I love World of Sports. And that show, because you never knew what was going to happen. It was like... Uh, it like this show. It was, it, was like, it was like watching the car racing. You might see an accident. Anyway, on this particular day, I, I remember this. There was an all-points bulletin uh, put out by... Sandy Roberts. Sandy Roberts. And uh, let's get to the bottom of it. Very rarely do we do lost pet announcements, but there is some drama in the East Q area at the moment because uh, Peter Landy awoke this morning to find that his black and tan German shepherd, Monty, has disappeared. Look, just pop outside if you're in the East Q area and yell out Monty a couple of times. OK, it's a black and tan German shepherd lost in the East Q district. Amazing. Now let us turn our attention to district cricket. <laughs> how, is that, how, how is that OK? How is live television? The case was away, that's why Sandy was hosting. <laughs> did, did, did Sir Belfington ring up? Uh, no more. Never got the dog back. Sorry. Oh, Sorry. 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 <laughs> I believe they put that dog down immediately after that segment. That's a sad story. <laughs> what, did you, what did you call his... What did you call his... Uh, the former boss of the Herald Weekly Times? Sir Belfington. Oh, no, no. That, was his, that was his name. Monty. No, no, no. Dog. Sir Philip Jones. <laughs> Was 
<laughs> was World of Sport as much fun? Oh, we, we grew up with World of Sport. Was as much fun being part of that show? <laughs> was it as much fun? You're right. Oh, this show is dead I'm having a good time. I know. What about... Hang on, I've got to ask... Yeah, yeah was as World of Sport as much... Could go on who's, in charge, <laughs> who's in charge here? Oh. Was, it, was it as much fun as it appeared to be? Yeah, it was. Yeah, right. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 1,300 episodes. It was an absolutely magnificent. It was an institution. And you should be proud of your role on it. it was absolutely right. Show. I used to love the advertorials you used to do. Because, oh, oh, no. but there's not enough of this no, anymore. No, there's a live ads. No, 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 there's, there's a live ads that used to be like part of it. You used to look forward to the oh, sponsorships. No, uh, no, here, no. Here's an ad for Retrovision. <laughs> Mr Fennell, for the past few months you've been challenging people to beat your discount prices. You must be pretty confident. We are, Peter. As one of the biggest electrical appliance bulk buying groups in Australia, we can pass substantial savings on to our customers. Each store is run by the man who owns it, an independent businessman in his community. Has anybody managed to beat Retrovision's prices yet? Well, it could be in some individual cases, but I do know our customers keep coming back. Can we get a still of that set up? Is there any way? I know I'm asking questions. Oh, yeah, we, did, we didn't rehearse this, but there's a couple of details. What's the cast from the... Homicide in the... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I noticed there was an ashtray, an ashtray on yeah. the coffee table. Yeah. And between you, uh, see that? I watched that whole ad thinking, that phone's going to ring. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be the head of the Herald and Weekly Times going, hurry up. Oh. And by the way, look oh. at that. Is that a bit of man spreading going on there, Peter? <laughs> Side of the... I need a magnifying glass. I think. <laughs> <laughs> that someone recreate that set, and uh, we'll do our one-on-one -on -one interviews on that. It's from, amazing from to watch that. The chemistry between you and that guy it was yeah. like uh, yeah. it's like watching De, De Niro and Pacino in Heat. You know, when they're just in that coffee shop <laughs> thing, just going back and forth. Yeah. I wanted to say um, it has been wonderful to have you on, Pete. Sure, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Really, has. really has. Um, and speaking of ads, you are you know there was football, but you also you were the voice of rowing when, uh, during the during the Olympics. You went to Olympic games and. There's a great ad between uh, when uh, uh, Olympics and ads came together uh, with you uh, as the feature. Uh, the wine is a 1970 McWilliams Mount Pleasant Old Paddock Hermitage, the entire stock of which will carry Raylene's name. And the summing up of an appreciative reporter. It's got a great taste and rather appropriately for a Raylene Royal Red, it really does have a great body. Thank you.